Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about email setup in ServiceNow. If you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. The agenda of this video would be email accounts, email properties and then we will see a demo how can we send emails in ServiceNow and then we can take a look into the email logs how does it looks and then we will try sending an email from my Hotmail account to my ServiceNow developer instance. So let's quickly jump to ServiceNow. I can type system mailboxes on top left corner and ServiceNow provides you functionality of sending and receiving emails within the ServiceNow instance and if I click on email accounts you would see there are two email accounts already set up out of the box. One is for sending the emails that is the SMTP account and the other one is for receiving and these two are already defined by ServiceNow. You can see a checkbox here called ServiceNow configured and it is a read only checkbox which signifies that it has been configured by ServiceNow. You can deactivate this and you can use your own organization's SMTP settings because these emails will actually be residing on ServiceNow's servers. And if your audit team wants to do any auditing then they will actually have to come to ServiceNow and then look into the logs. But if they want everything to be set up in their own environment or in your own organization then you can use your organization's SMTP service. Similarly you can do it for POP3 that is for receiving the emails. Again this is service now configured you can deactivate it and then use your own custom POP3 settings. Next is the email properties. Right now we have outbound email configuration and the inbound email configuration. I have disabled sending from my this instance. If I want to activate this I can click on yes and then I can give the email ID where I want to redirect all the emails to. Out of the box if you don't give any email ID here the emails will be sent to the end users or the emails which are defined for each and every user. But if you define any email here for example hardditsing at hotmail.com so no email will be sent to the end users and all the emails which are going out from this particular instance will be redirected to hardditsing at hotmail.com so this is useful when you are doing a testing in your PDI or in your lower environments but do not use this in production because all the emails will be then sent to this particular email ID and then you can append the time zone and dates in the sent emails as well or you can deactivate that as well so it is activated out of the box then you can add the visible watermark in your email so this is a unique ID which is generated every time an email is sent by your system we will see that in the demo what is that unique watermark and then if you want your system to resend your emails on some particular SMTP error code so you can mention them here and if you don't want to resend emails if you receive an error code like 500 or 501 then you can specify or remove all these error codes here and when you receive any other error code except these which you have mentioned in these two text boxes whether you want to resend the email or not you can mention that and if you would have noticed in your incidents if the emails which are sent out or received are mentioned in the incident ticket or change ticket and you want only ITL roles to see that you can mention that here as well or maybe to only the admin roles and other roles. Next is the inbound email configuration that is the receiving of the emails. If you want your instance to receive the emails you can enable that here it is activated by default you can deactivate it by clicking on this checkbox and then ServiceNow can identify whether the email it has received is a forward email, reply email or a new email. ServiceNow segregates that by reading the subject. If the subject is starting with RE, R, accepted, tentative, declined so that means it is a reply email. You can add more by using commas here and if you want to identify a forward email it will start with FW, FWD in the subject or you can add more and if you are receiving emails from some email ID which is not in your service now instance and you want to create users for that you can do it through this checkbox and service now will start creating the users from the email ID it has received and it will set the default password as this and then finally if you want to create the users only from a specific domain for example servicenow.com or any other vendor if you want you can do it by 
comma separated values out of the box this is unchecked so no users will be created for your new email IDs I will save this and now ServiceNow will start sending the emails to Hardit Singh at hotmail.com for any email which is being sent out from this instance now let's test sending out an email for that I will go to incident.list and I will open any incident you can open any change record problem record or any task record and you would be able to see three dots on the top and you can click here the more options and click on this email and you would be able to see the two CC BCC subject and the body of the email which is similar to your outlook and you can say this is a demo email and demo body and if you notice the two is given as Emilia and CC is Hardit at example.com which is a fake email ID and if I send this I should receive email on my Hardit Singh at hotmail.com even though it wasn't mentioned in the email in to CC or BCC so this is how we have configured our email settings and now I'm in my Outlook email and you can see the demo body and demo subject is here so I have received the email and this is the watermark which I was talking about when we were setting up the email configuration and if you want to see the logs what were the sent emails from your instance you can click here and then you can see these were the emails which were sent out today and this is the table name sys underscore email and if you want to see each and every email then you can remove this filter of sent and you would be able to see all the emails so this consists of received sent outbox emails I'll type system mailboxes here and you would be able to see inbox outbox so everything is being stored under same table sys underscore email and these are just filters now I will go back to my outlook and I will reply to this email and I can say this is a demo reply and I will send this email and if I go into my email logs and I click on received so I should be able to see the email which I will be receiving in a minute and I just received this email if I click on this I would be able to see the details of this email so who is the user from where I have received the email and this the reply has been set as reply automatically because it was starting with RE and it was mentioned in the settings I'm moving on if I click on preview email under related links you would be able to see the whole body of the email and you can see this is a demo reply here if you want to send any fresh email or again forward this email you can use this particular email ID this is your instance name in my case it's dev71141 so you have to give your instance name here and at the rate servicenowdevelopers.com so if your instance name is dev11111 at the rate servicenowdevelopers.com so you have to use that email ID this is all about setting up email in your system I hope this video was helpful to you Please let me know in comments if you have any questions and do subscribe to my channel.